In this lesson, we're going to do something really cool. We're going to add a target line into our chart. So take a little look at an example of what I mean so you kind of know what we're aiming for. You can see here I have a simple column chart, but I've added in a target line and applied some formatting. And this line is completely dynamic. So if our sales target changes, this line is going to move accordingly. So if I go up to here and I change this to, let's change it to uh, 1,700, you can see that target line moves. So in this example, this is a really great way of being able to see which of our sales agents are above target, below target, or meeting targets. So let me show you how to create it because it is simpler than you think. So we have some basic sales data here. We've got our sales agents and we have the amount of sales that they've made this month, let's say. And the first thing we need to specify is the sales target. So let's say that the sales target is 2000. I'm just gonna put that into its own cell. Now let's go in and create the chart. I'm gonna click in the data, jump up to insert, and then in the charts group, we're just gonna go with a very simple 2D column chart. So let's click to add that in and let's just do a little bit of tidying up. Now, if you watch my previous videos on charts, you will know that I don't like these bars to be too skinny. So we're going to format them and we're going to decrease that gap width. So a quick way to get into our formatting options, control one is going to bring up that pane. Let me just drag this over so it's a bit easier to see. And we're going to change the gap width. So let's drag this down just to make that gap width a little bit smaller. Let's close this down. I'm not going to do a great deal else to this chart at this stage other than maybe let's change the colors. So let's go for colorful palette four to give that a nice green color. Remember, you do have your chart styles above, so you can change this to something a little bit more fancy. But for this example, we'll just keep it super basic. Now we're going to add a chart title at the end. Let's start dealing with how to add that target line. Now that target line is basically just another series within this chart. So we need to make it part of our data set. So I'm going to add a new column and we're going to call this target. And all we're going to do is we're going to pull in the target into this table. So I'm simply going to link to the cell up here. Now remember we need to press F4 because we want to drag this down. Control Enter to stay in the same cell and double click to copy that down. So now that we have this target, if I click on the chart, you can see the data that it's currently referring to. So at the moment, the target is excluded from the chart. So to pull this in, there are a couple of ways that we can do this. We can either copy the data, control C, and just paste it on top of the chart, or we can simply just grab the little handle and drag our selection out, which is then going to include that target within this chart. Now, currently, it's not displaying as I want it to display. The target is just showing as another bar within this chart. That's the blue bar that you can see. So how can we make this a line instead? Well, let's click on one of the bars, which is going to select all of them. And we're going to right click and we're going to say change series chart type because we want this series to be a line as opposed to a bar. So at the bottom where we have series name, you can see the sales series is using the clustered column chart, which is absolutely fine. But the target, we want to change this to use just a simple 2D line chart. Let's click on OK. Check out what we have. There is our bar. So now that we have it, it's just a simple case of applying formatting. So we're going to select the bar, control one to pull up our format data series. And if we go to the fill section, this is where we can start making changes. So maybe I want this bar to be, I want it to be a solid line, but I'm going to change the color. Let's make it a bright pink color. Why not? We can change the width so I can make that a little bit smaller if I wanted to. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to add onto either end just some arrow heads. So begin arrow type, we're going to say this one, end arrow type, this one. We click away, we have our bar. So let's test this out to see if it moves as we want it to move. So if I was to change the sales target for the month to let's say 3000, this target line should move, which it does. 
let's change it to 1500 it moves back down again. So this is looking perfect. And if you wanted the word target so that everybody is super clear as to what this line is, we could simply add a data label. We can right click and then we can choose to add a data label. Now notice here by default, it's putting the target value and it's putting it multiple times wherever we have a different sales agent. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna say format data labels and underneath label options, this is where we can choose what we want to display as our data label. So I'm gonna remove show leader lines and instead of value, we're gonna choose a value from the cell. And the value I'm gonna choose is the word target. So let's select that in cell F2 and click on OK. We can then deselect value and what we get instead is just the word target positioned on that line. We can then scroll down and choose our label position. So I'm going to say show this above the line. Now remember, this is simply just a text box. If you want to move it, you can. So maybe I want this somewhere in the middle. We'll just plop it just there. And then we can apply formatting. So to make this stand out so it doesn't blend into the background, I'm going to go to the Format tab. Let's just give this a shape fill of, let's just say white and a shape outline of, I'm just going to do... Uh, Let's do a dark pink so it matches the line. And obviously you can get a little bit fancy with this. Maybe I want to make it bold, so on and so forth. But the cool thing about this is that it will also move with the bar. So if we change the target to 2000, it moves up. If we change it to 500, it moves down. The final point to mention here is how you can deal with hiding this target column because you might not want column D showing in your data. Now, if I was to simply right click and select hide, it's going to remove that target line. So we can't do that. What we need to do is click on the chart, go up to chart design and into select data. And from here, we can choose hidden and empty cells and say that we want to show data in hidden rows and columns. Click on OK and OK again, and now if I hide this column, that target line is going to stay there. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something from that little tutorial. If you did enjoy this video, then give me a like and possibly consider following. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.